So there's these intimate relationships and patterns between minerals that that's the work that I became certified in knowing that you don't have to know that I have to know that <laughs> so that we can determine what your body actually needs to run at an ideal level. So I was thinking before we started talking, does hair color give you any indication? Like, is it, is it a, a guide? Like, as you can see, I'm very gray. I went gray probably in my forties. So okay. is, is, is that an indicator? I'm 64 now and I'm very great, but is that an indicator? Well, there's a, a, a use of the word stress that is commonly um, misconstrued in my world. So when it yeah. comes to stress, I like to say it's not, stress is not whether or not, this is a little cheeky, just bear with me. Is it, stress is not whether or not your partner knows about your boyfriend or girlfriend. That's called yeah. drama. The physical stress and the mental stress. So if you do nothing but take your supplements, it will help a little bit. But if wow. you do the work to help clear old wounds, triggers, you need work through your emotional issues, uh, yeah. memories, traumas, all of that, it will heighten and quicken your physical healing properties. Absolutely. Hello and welcome Team ET. We're back once again and I'm so happy to be here and have this opportunity to share with you some more insights from another global leader and warrior. And today, as you will have heard me say in the intro, our focus is looking at how we can take a holistic approach to our well-being, probably zeroing in on uh, self-care and self-awareness. And most likely that's going to lead us into discussions on nutrition, detoxing, stress management, among an array of other topics, including health mineral analysis. So, so buckle up, it's going to be an interesting conversation. Um, essentially what we're talking about is our journey, our own positive transformation through practices, including natural remedies and lifestyle changes. So here to assist us in understanding what we can do is somebody known as the spiritual alchemist and the founder of the Elevate Institute, Miss Eva Venari. Eva, welcome to the ET Project. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Hey, I watched your uh, Sue talk. Um, for those that don't know what Sue is, I, this was a new experience for me as well. Sue stands for Successful, Unstoppable, Empowering Talks. Uh, and you did a talk there, which I think was called Watch the, Watch the Pause Before the Splash. Um, I particularly enjoyed the diving board story. How was the overall experience delivering the talk? It was a lot of fun. Um, the is similar to the TED Talk experience, you have a coach and they guide you through. Well, I had five mm -hmm. coaches that we were wow. very excited <laughs> about the process. Yeah, I was fully produced by the Connected Women of Influence, and I'm still a member with those uh, individuals. And I just I love I love the group because they stand for something like we have a voice and we need to be right. able to find platforms and ways to be loud about it. And that this mm. was one of the everybody who sees the Sue talk they're they're amazed by it not necessarily right. because it's what I have to say but because the production is so high value yeah yeah it's incredible uh, I'll, I'll definitely uh, subscribe to it and, and stay attuned to what what's been delivered but um, probably a good starting point for our conversation is if you don't mind sharing a little bit of your personal journey and what led you to found the Elevate Institute yep the history of my health has always been a little um, difficult. It, 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 I started out with depression and as a teenager, that's almost synonymous, right? It's normal. <laughs> that's considered normal, but it was undiagnosed and untreated for many years until it led to chronic conditions in my energy. And that became chronic fatigue. It took 10 years for them to diagnose the chronic fatigue as a name. This was back when it was unpopular to have it. Right, <laughs> so this right. years and years ago, chronic fatigue, anxiety, insomnia, depression, fibromyalgia, itchy skin, heart palpitations, short-term memory loss, fibromyalgia, it, it, all of these things that doctors today even will say there's no cure for. Right. And that's true mm -hmm. when it comes to Western medicine and the medications that they have for 
really what they are meant for. And I didn't know at the time and doctors were not owning at the time, maybe still are not owning, but it, the, these are trauma care therapies. Medications are not for the body's purposes. If we want mm. longevity, quality health, not meant to be taken for life. Yeah. So I kind of led down the path that all of us are. When you have a complaint, you're supposed to take it to the doctor. The doctor then draws your blood and says, oh, yeah, you've got this Latin word. <laughs> now it's time to you. Hang a, hang a chain on it, you know. Yeah. And he, I didn't want to take medications. And so they said, well, we can't help you. And that became a 16 year long journey of wow. I'm going to be stubborn and decide I don't want to take medication. So what is my cure? And mm. it ended up being something entirely outside of Western medicine. But that's where it all started was this journey of I know the body can heal itself. Yeah. But what do you need to give it? So that became that became the question to answer. That, that's interesting. I I sort of have a, a similar belief in that the the mind is so powerful as well right you say the body yes. can heal itself i believe that as well coupled with the power of the mind i i think there's so much that we we don't tap into typically yes. right yes and we, yeah. Yeah. yeah very interesting there, there there is something that i read about when i was doing my research before we came to this conversation it's it's called hair mineral analysis and I'd never heard of this before. Can you can you enlighten me and the listeners, if you don't mind? What what is it? How do you include this as part of what you do in your in your business? Yeah. Well, I mean, think about what we do when we go to the doctor. I mentioned getting your blood tested. We get mm. all kinds of uh, body parts <laughs> and excretions tested for the mm -hmm. purposes of finding out how the body is functioning. What's in it? Do we have viruses? Do we have bacteria? Do, what what do we have? Right. And mineral balancing and hair analysis is about finding out what the body needs. I mentioned that question, body can heal itself if we know what to give it. And yeah. then the next logical question becomes, well, how do we know what it needs? That's what the mineral balancing test, the hair mineral analysis test provides very right. clearly. You can see what the metabolism is. It's not so much about what's too high or what's too low on a mineral test. It's about the relationships of those minerals and how they work with each other, just like relationships with people. Mm. Are they supporting each other? And you can see that imbalance in relationships where one person's working harder than the other one or putting in more effort or less effort. You can see the, re the reaction as a result, you know, relationships break down no right. different than inside the body. So there's these intimate relationships and patterns between minerals that that's the work that I became certified in knowing that you don't have to know that I have to know that <laughs> so that we can determine what your body actually needs to run at an ideal level. And this is the beauty of it because if the body is designed perfectly and it is, and God has given us this beautiful, you know, clay body that is designed in a way that to heal itself, all yeah. we have to do is turn on that healing program. Right. So I call that healing cascades. And so the hair analysis gives us the tools, just like when you take your tires rotated and you need to rebalance them. You, you right. don't go to a rebalancing specialist. You go to a mechanic. I'm your mechanic for the body. So I'm going to use whatever tools are at my disposal to figure out hmm. how to get your body ideal. That's it. Okay. And my, my partner is also very big into, uh, supplements and nutritional balance and i guess this is a large part of them what comes out of that process that analysis is you look at what what needs to be altered and you yeah. you manage that through nutrition you manage that through a couple of things and i like to call it you, you know you've heard the statement give you, you get take an apple a day keep the doctor away has anybody ever told you what that apple really is it's not eating an apple <laughs> So, <laughs> come on, come on. I, what's, hang on. What is it's the apple? Eating an apple. <laughs> yeah. So it, it comes down to these five things that I, I like to talk about. One is uh, hydration. It's the right kind of water, how much and when these things okay. matter. Then it's the rest throughout the day, which is different than sleeping. And mm -hmm. if we just go, go, go all the time, then we don't slow down our momentum at nighttime. And then the body is just stuck in this whir of doing, and then mm -hmm. we can't get to sleep and sleep is where we rejuvenate. So that's a big mistake to think we don't need sleep. And I can't tell you the number of people who have said to me, oh, Eva, I, it's normal for me. You don't understand. I only need four hours of sleep a day. 
same people who end up with a heart attack or a stroke in the future. It's like, that's right. just, you got to get your sleep. Then the other one is whole foods. So that's number four. So you have this, the water, the rest, the sleep and whole foods. Stop, stop doing meal replacements. Like your body works best when we machinate and chew up our food. And, you know, there's all kinds of things that are happening inside our body that says, oh, I'm chewing on steak. I need the protein, you know, the type of enzyme in my stomach to go and tear down that steak in order for yeah. my body to create new cells. So these are the four basics. And then the fifth one is supplement. And that's where we guess, we guess a lot, don't we? Um, this new fad, this new trend, this new gimmick, uh, this new supplement that promises everything like a unicorn. It's not a unicorn. They're usually just cats dressed up as unicorns. They're false. <laughs> and so we need to have clear ideas what to take, how much, and what kind. And that's, again, what the mineral balancing kicks all the guesswork out of. Right. So that's for the day. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I We were talking just before we hit record about copper toxicity, but uh, I'm guessing there's a whole raft of minerals that are toxic, but they're, they're part of our requirement, right? Our dietary requirements. And this is what you're talking about, essentially. Yeah. So it's, it's funny. Um, I've been doing this work for almost like going into two decades and two full decades. And the, the principle of we somehow consciously are supposed to decide what is toxic for us and what is not mm. completely dismisses the beautiful programming I mentioned earlier that we have inside of us. The body knows what yeah. something is toxic. Now, Copper is a mineral that the body needs. It's supposed to have it. It mm. helps govern things like skin softness, our immune system, our reproductive organs. But if its partner minerals are missing, i.e. zinc, calcium, magnesium, all of these other ones that are maybe missing in our diet or we're having a difficult time um, processing, well, the copper that's supposed to be there says, hey, I'm here, where's my friends? Right. Like, where's everybody going? And so it will basically, and I like to use little metaphors to make it easy. Copper takes its ball and goes home. <laughs> it says, I'm going to, it stores itself into the organs, the heart, the liver, the kidneys, and places where it does not belong. And <laughs> what does that do? That makes itself toxic because now it's creating inflammation. And just about any one of the nutrient minerals can take that role, depending on what's missing in your daily diet. Right. Yeah. So how, how do we get a, around this like i'm guessing there's you go to a nutritionist they they work through a process so maybe we role play this i i come to you as a client yeah. and i say yeah. eva i'm not feeling so great right. I'm, i feel like there's something wrong with me the doctors don't know what it is can you help me yes. so where, where do we start with the process I just take a little bit of hair. So it doesn't matter where you live in the world. I have clients from Peru to Dubai. But what I'm saying about that is you don't have to work with me. But the idea is hair does not spoil in the mail. We just need to get your hair sample <laughs> to the lab. And so once the lab has it, they can then digest it down and look at all of the nutrients that you have currently in your hair, not in your body, what's in your hair, right? So it's everything that's left over after your body makes more you, it spits it out into the soft tissue, which is your nails and your hair. Mm -hmm. So once that information comes back to me, I can then analyze the, the different patterns, what's high, what's low, but what's relationship to each other is more important. From that, I can then inform you, here's a list of minerals that you need. Here's mm -hmm. how much I recommend taking, take it over this period of time. And then we retest the hair and see where you are. Because as right. your body heals and changes, your needs will change. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so it's about staying on top of what you need, not so much about filling the gap. I mean, you don't want to right. think about, okay, so if all of the minerals are supposed to be leveled here on a test, but some of them are down here, let's say this one's manganese over here and this one's calcium over here. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean you don't take calcium and you take a bunch of manganese. All right. That's not what it's about. It's just, that would be like going to a concert and only hearing the drummer. Uh-huh. Maybe some people just want to hear the drummer, but really for me, I want to hear the whole orchestra or I want to hear the whole band. Yes. So that's what it's about. It's about things that work in concert with each other in order to affect change. Mm. So I was thinking before we started talking, does hair color give you any indication? Like, is it is it a, 
a guide. Like, as you can see, I'm very gray. I went gray probably in my 40s. So Okay. is, is, is that an indicator? I'm 64 now and I'm very gray, but is that an indicator? It can be. Hair color to a degree is taken into account because when I actually place the order with your hair sample to the lab, it asks what color is your hair naturally. So we take that into account so that we know what to look for, you know, in the in the test itself. But it depends on how old you are. You mentioned age. I went gray, especially right here at the widow's peak at the age of 20. Wow. Now that's premature aging and going gray typically means that you've lost some manganese. It also has to do, especially with the widow's peak like that, or any part of the front, I just happen to have one, but anybody who, lo who loses color at the tip top up here like that, it's thyroid related. No doctor told me that. Right. No So doctor told me that. interesting. I, I was I used to do a lot of uh, gardening. So when I was doing the gardening, I used to add uh, chemicals, minerals to the soil um, based on the leaf color and what I could see happening with the plant. So it's a, it's the body is telling you a similar story based on what you just just shared. Oh, there's so many. I do something that's fun. It's Chinese face reading. And you can see what's going on with your organs based on the puffiness around the eyes and the color and texture of your skin and even what's going on with the wrinkles, you know, down the center line. There's all kinds of wonderful things that the body will tell us if we just knew what to look for. But once you know, you can't unsee it. That's the fun part. You watch TV, you go, oh, that person's toxic. Oh, they are high dehydrated or, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. You, you just brought a whole new meaning to people watching. I, 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 love, I love people watching. <laughs> I might have to do some of your studies and, and be able to add a new dimension to what I do. <laughs> I, I like the sound of that. I, I can imagine there's many clients that you've dealt with that, that have really um, evolved and, and felt the benefits of it. Do you have any significant or some success story that jumps to mind? Uh, I have so many. I have some that are short term and some that are very long term. I've had clients with me for, you know, long, long time because they just feel so good on this regimen that's built just for them. And they're doing deep healing, deep healing, meaning these are people who had multiple symptoms like I did. Some come to me with just, oh, Eva, I have an allergy to being outside. Well, that could be a problem, you know, and uh, they're always surprised by the result of the test. And, oh, I didn't have any idea. I had all these, these, you know, toxins in my body. So here's the cool thing. People come with, with a very short list of uh, symptoms that they are paying attention to. Eventually they, they realize I had a lot more that my body could heal, but I didn't know. I just resigned myself to living with less energy or with the joint pain or with the whatever. So Yes. There's a lot of that that happens. And I'll give you a, a specific example. There was a woman here in, in Los Angeles who did one one person shows on stage, actress. And she heard my story. And as we were talking, we were just in a networking meeting and she, she started to cry. And I says, what's the matter? She goes, you were where I am now. I can't eat anything. I can't go over to friend's house and enjoy having you know, a sandwich together with somebody. I can't go out with my family to a nice restaurant, order whatever I want. Everyone is overly concerned with what it is that I order. So if I don't order the right things, then I fall asleep or I have heart palpitations or my symptoms become much more exacerbated. So she hired me and we worked together. And within less than four months, We were at a point where she wrote me this email and she says, this was right before COVID started actually. And she says, you know, I went over to a friend's house yesterday and I wasn't scared of whatever she put under my nose to eat because I knew my body could handle it. Mm. That's life changing. Yeah. And she went, then she goes, and the next night I went out with my family to a restaurant. I ordered what I wanted and everybody was shocked and I was able to handle it just fine. That again is a life habit change. It's something that you go from being overly vigilant, which takes a lot of energy to putting that all down and saying, I got my body has me. That's huge. Mm. Yeah, Yeah. for sure. For sure. So I, I can imagine there's a detoxing process that has to happen when, when there is this imbalance or do supplements normally 
write the imbalance? Yes. Is there, yeah. The answer is yes to both both answers, uh, both oh. questions. So here are the, the list of things your body heals automatically and on its own without you telling it it needs to heal it. The first one is toxic metals. So that's anything that your body takes on like lead, arsenic, uh, aluminum, nickel. We get those everywhere every day. They're all over every surface. They're in our water. And it's not that we should live in a bubble. It's mm. that we need to be fortified with the preferred minerals. Right. That's going to be calcium, your magnesium, your sodium, your potassium, your all of those, right? So if you have enough of those in your body, then the toxic metals have nowhere to stay because they act just like a spare tire on your car. Mm -hmm. you, you pop a tire, you take the car from the trunk and you put it on, it's a donut, right? It's smaller than the others. It, your car is not gonna perform as well, but it's there so that you're not riding on your rims. And that's how a toxic metal works. So to your question, does it detox you? Yes, it's automatic. We don't have to tell the body. We don't right. have to do a flush or a cleanse or a chelation therapy. This is automatic. So secondly, it gets rid of nutrient imbalances like the copper I was talking about it corrects yeah. those imbalances it also can correct um once that happens that once we get rid of the toxic metals the immune system pops up mm -hmm. and the viruses that the body has been incapable of killing off it suddenly has the energy to do so we have now fortified the immune system's army right, right. and so people who tell me oh Eva I don't get sick I just kind of chuckle to myself and I go well look forward to a flu that you haven't been able to kill off because here it comes <laughs> and generally that's the first thing the body needs to heal so viruses bacteria that doesn't belong that ends up coattailing on a virus those will be killed off parasites will get killed off chemicals and drugs that you thought you peed out years ago guess what they're still there we get rid mm. of those now microplastics being a focal point we're realizing that this program also gets rid of those okay yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Sorry, I cut you off. That's okay. No, that that was that was it. There's yeah. those many Great. things. And and we get into the habit just to just to wrap it up. It's like we get into this habit thinking that we need to take control of what the body's supposed to heal. But we have that innate wisdom already within right. us. Body yeah. knows. I I imagine each person is unique in the sense that they all have different uh, levels of tolerance for toxins um, and and therefore each plan that you put together or each treatment you put together is very personalized oh yeah everything's personalized but the, the how the body heals is the same from human to human the mm. what the body needs to heal that is completely different because you're right i've noticed that for some people I, they're very sensitive to certain minerals and I have to start them off extremely slowly or they have healing reactions that overpower them. Right. So depending on how sensitive a person is, we work with them. And then whatever prescription drugs they feel they need to be on. And, may, and some people do. Absolutely, they need to be on prescription drugs for now. But it's a two-pronged approach. So mm. as we get to the body to a more ideal state, then you work with your doctor to come off of those medications. I have nothing to do with it other than I'm getting their body better. Mm, mm. I um I I was a cancer survivor 14 years back and well I'm still a cancer survivor I'm still yes. here <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I should reword that and say I had cancer 14 <laughs> years back I, was, I survived it fortunately uh, uh, and I, I hear a lot of stories from other people who have been through similar experiences and, and we always hear about the relapse where the body hasn't completely dealt with that um, problem. Supplements and detoxing are useful, you know, oh, for yeah. these types of illnesses. Yeah, yeah. There's a, a wonderful body of work by Bill mm, Corey, Bill Corey. And he started this work called the Healing Cascade, no, sorry, the, the Cancer Cascades. And the cancer cascades were his discovery of how to, in his words, cure cancer. And of course, it's something that's not accepted in American medical associations, but it is in mm -hmm. other countries. And he discovered that the cancer is a growth that happens on a 12 year cycle and it has everything to do with our immune system. Right. So if your immune system is compromised from toxic metals, imbalances and viruses mm -hmm. that your body hasn't been able to kill off, 
I would say that this work is primary. So if you have been received, if you've gone through cancer therapy and you've received the bill of health that says you are now cancer free or in remission, do not give up the yoke of, of healing because you still, you could end up, you know, with the relapse, like you said, mm. if the immune system is still compromised. So I work with people who have recovered from a cancer treatment therapy and want to get rid of those toxic metals. That's definitely mm. part of the Yeah. Yeah, um, and that's that's the reason my partner is so focused on the nutritional side as well. So she's uh, she's my home doctor, you might say. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody needs a healer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'd like to talk a little bit about stress because sure. um, our listener base is primarily leaders, and the world that we live in today is almost it's a given that we're living in this high stress environment and um, leaders suffer this. Many of us suffer it in silence. Um, and I'm wondering how, how does your uh, business and, you know, the health, the whole holistic well-being approach help with stress management? Yeah. Well, there's a, a use of the word stress that is commonly um misconstrued in my world so when it comes to stress i like to say it's not stress is not whether or not this is a little cheeky just bear with me is it stress is not whether or not your partner knows about your boyfriend or girlfriend that's called mm -hmm. drama <laughs> so <laughs> that's a different kind of stress right. stress in my world is about the relationships of minerals in your body so if you have an imbalance that is being imposed upon your body's immune system, your ability to get rid of toxic metals, you can't create new quality cells, which means your immune, immune system is not only down, but your hormones are not working properly. And that's the communication system of the problem. If you're mm. constantly dysregulated in some way, then you have an imbalance. And that to me is stress. And so wow. there's this fine line we walk of noticing when we're stressed out due to an outside you know, influence versus is it inside? And I think if we learned that distinction, it's more than just meditating. We can't meditate this away. We can't think good thoughts away. Uh, think the good thoughts to make our, our, uh, our bodies work best at its ideal we need to give the 3d body this clay body the 3d mm. minerals that it's made of and that not giving it that is the stress in my world right yeah yeah but so, as as far as as far as does it help stress in the outside world yes absolutely because universal law says as above so below that's a law of correspondence so if you're able to handle things better on the inside then you're going mm. to better overcome the things that happen to you around you, your mental ability to cognize and to work through problems become greater. Your emotional space becomes larger, your spiritual ability mm. to listen to your message and God, that all increases too. I've seen it. I, that's, that's all of the work that I do. Yes. Right. <clears throat> there, there's a lot of studies today and uh, you know, neuroscience is making a lot of advances in the last couple of decades. And, and there seems to be more of a link now between the mind, the heart, the gut, and, and the whole um, somatic uh, infrastructure, if you like. I, I'm, I was just thinking while you were talking about uh, stress and, and how the body and that type of stress, I'm, I'm wondering the mental stress versus the, the physical stress, is there a coupling in your mind? Yes, absolutely. Um, the physical stress and the mental stress. So if you do nothing but take your supplements, it will help a little bit. But if yeah. you do the work to help clear old wounds, triggers, and you work through your emotional issues, uh, yeah. memories, traumas, all of that, it will heighten and quicken your physical healing properties. Absolutely. Mm. They're directly related. So when we talk about... <laughs> It's sort of a segue, if you like, but when we talk about holistic health, is that the, the overall direction we talk about? Is it mental, like psychological as well as physiological? Yeah, because a lot of times our beliefs are what holds us back from fully healing. So 
I can actually see that on a hair mineral test. I can see what's called a calcium to magnesium ratio. And usually if it's too high or too low from ideal, it means that a person has made a decision that they want to do something, say go back to school or to move to a different state or make a change in life. But they've got that but in place in life that says, I'm not ready to do that for all these reasons. And it's, it's that mental thought that keeps you from moving forward. Those right. are usually the same people that have problems in their hips and their knees and their feet, because those are the foundation that allows us to move forward. So you have hmm. a lot of arthritic and a lot of problems with the lower body as a result of your thinking. And so they do absolutely go hand in hand. Very interesting. I, I'm going to have to talk with you more because I have a problem <laughs> with this. <laughs> yeah, very, very interesting. You, you mentioned the apple a day. Um, yeah concept and the, and the five different areas uh where does exercise fit into this whole dynamic yeah exercise is needed we need to be able to exercise our heart and to have cardio for greater circulation and healing right. there's also a fine line so if many people come to me who have an experience of adrenal burnout this is that i'm so tired i feel it in my soul tired this is so right. tired that two weeks vacation doesn't help. This is so tired yep. that a nap doesn't help. Yep. So this type of degree of tiredness requires you to just sit back and do very, very little when it comes to physical exertion, because we want to reserve as much healing power as possible, you know, for that forward motion of healing. Then you mm -hmm. add and slowly as your body gets stronger, you can feel it and you can put more mm -hmm. faith and trust in spending that energy as opposed to just, you know, going a full board and exhausting yourself because every time you exhaust yourself and exercise then you're taking away from the body's ability to heal so i coach people around go to 70 percentile not to 100 percent. don't knock yourself out to the point of needing to fall asleep you're like learn how to manage your energy and some and then eventually the, the energy becomes more and more available at a greater level mm. so it really is that whole holistic picture understanding it's not just one element you have you have to look at everything together and it, it's almost a misconception so yes. i'm feeling tired i need to go out and do yep. a session at the gym which is probably going to create a, a greater impact a negative impact in that moment than than maybe just pausing for a moment and, and relaxing and, and resting yes uh, are there any typical misconceptions that people have around holistic health and, and wellness that you'd come across? We would need a whole nother podcast, Wayne. We, <laughs> we really would. Uh, I mean, I have my own podcast called The Perfect Balance, and we will pick a subject matter to dispel every single yep. episode. So there's so much to learn. Some of it you just hit on, and it was it's about the, you know, exercising is good for everybody. It, right. it, eh, there's so much to say about that. There's a at all water is good for you. No, it's not true. Like we've just, I dispel a lot of myths and have to do an awful lot of reteaching because there's so much um, snake oil met, are advertising for. This is great for you. That's great for you. They're really, and I like to say this, they're not unicorns. They're not the, the perfect miracle cure. Yes. They're cats yeah. dressed up as a unicorn and we have to learn the difference. So that's one mm. of my specials, help people get through that as well. Yeah. What is the name of your podcast, by the way? Oh, it's the perfect balance. It can be found on YouTube. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, how do you stay <laughs> up? How do you stay up to date? Um, you know, with with everything in in the world changing so rapidly at the moment, your area will be no exception. How, how do you stay ahead of the curve or with the latest research? Yeah, it, it's there. There's the the twofold approach: is discerning. You got to discern whether something is worth worth attention or not. Yeah. So that way people bring it to me. Oh, Eva, have you heard of this new? Th yeah, I have. And let me tell you the pitfalls of it, you know, or, yeah. oh yeah, I have. And this would be a really good modality to add for you because you have this going on. So I stay on top of it by watching the news for sure. And also by going to the Natural Products Expo every year I attend and it's the yeah. number one place to find the new products that are out there. Lots of snake oil, but you can find some good good products that are beneficial yeah mm. and um uh, not doing a commercial but i know you have 
a product line uh, of nutrients that that you make available for your clients or for people that are interested they they come out of the um hair mineral analysis field i believe right yeah I mean, mineral balancing has been around for more than 50 years. The research has been done um, as by Dr. Paul Eck was one of the original founding doctors and he's a mm. research, he was a research chemist. So he discovered the relationships between minerals and then upon ingesting them, right. you know, through, through mineral uh, like tablets that you can affect those relationships. And that's a long time. That's a lot of body of work. But then all of us who are practitioners and trained in this work, you can't just be a doctor and go, oh, I think I'm smart. I'm going to go ahead and read one of these tests. Yeah. They they work entirely differently than a blood test or any other type of body fluid test. You, you really have to be certified in this work. Don't just go with anybody. I did that. One of my first times I had a test done, the doctor who did it, very smart doctor, but he wasn't certified. I didn't know better than to ask. And he nearly ruined me with his recommendations based on a hair test. So get somebody wow. who's been certified, ask them to see. You can actually see my certification on my website. I, I post it. Here's the picture of my certification. <laughs> and, and you get you get the information so that you're not being misled. And that's the important mm. part. That, that's interesting. Is there any other advice you'd give to somebody? Let's say I'm just starting out on this journey, looking at holistic health, looking at well-being. And I come across the field that you're you're involved in. What other advice would you give to somebody like myself? I think it's really important to go with a healer. So if you have found something that resonates with you and you think, oh, I need that, or possibly I need that, mm. interview the person who is offering the service. Make sure that they have your similar values, that they have been where you are so that they understand the journey and can get you to where you want to go. And right. I think if they pay attention to you know, those answers, that's why I always offer. I offer a free 20 minute com conversation. I want to mm. hear what's going on with you. If I can't help you, then I make recommendations for those who I think can. And that's right. an honest conversation. It's not a sales pitch. But yeah, when it comes to the minerals, I do have them available on my website, but I don't recommend just going on there and going, oh, I think I need a little of that. I need a little of this. Like, let's not play. So yes. get get a person like me who has the knowledge and can give you for certain this is what you need right now. And that way you can go with confidence. How do you go about your, your balance between your personal work and your own personal health? Uh, sorry, your professional work and your own personal health and wellness? Like, do you treat yourself or how do you, how do you oh, go yeah. about that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I'm and I'm not in a in an isolated bubble either. I have other yeah. practitioners that I can bounce ideas off, but mm -hmm. I have been testing my own hair and providing my mm -hmm. own programs for years now. And I tell you, I I don't need to go to the doctor to find out if I'm doing okay. I can just look at my hair test. So yeah. Yeah. and that that along with boundaries. So I make sure that I take the time off. I make sure that I'm not available all the time and I don't feel the pressure to get back to somebody just because they have a question. I've learned over time that when the body starts to heal like this and they're on a program such as this one, it's not an emergency ever. So I'm okay taking vacations and time off. I am a solo practitioner, but I do, yeah, you have to work with boundaries. Otherwise you burn yourself out. Is there a frequency of how often we should be doing our, our self-checks or speaking with people like yourself? Like, should we do it every six months, every 12 months? Is, is there it's a depends. guideline? So, yeah, if you're just starting out, you're going to need a lot of correction. And so that's good. That's why I offer the, the, the conversations when somebody signs no. up with me. They have not unlimited, but they get a certain amount of, of transaction with me so that their questions can be answered and they can course correct. Right. Once you get the idea down, oh, this is holistic. We're not chasing down symptoms. Then, then they start to think differently, and they need less interaction. And I've mm. noticed that. I've noticed that with with people. But yeah, it's um, it's a it's a learning curve for everybody. Some are very advanced, and they've been through this work before. Oh yeah, Eva, I know what a healing reaction is. You don't have to warn me. I get it. I'm not going to quit just because That's I got good. a tummy ache. I understand there's going to be pain involved. Um, right. And whatever your history is or has been in your your illness history, you will yeah. experience an unraveling of that in not in any one particular order, but you know we heal things 
by bringing them up into our reality, just like anything else. Right, right. It's a fascinating field. I know you've written a few books. <clears throat> Are you working on any projects at the moment or any, yeah. well, any of the books really relate to what we've talked about today? Yeah, all of them do. The, 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 <laughs> the one that I've had, the very first one that I wrote, which is called Owning Your Beauty, that one is my journey and the two-pronged approach of we want to look better. So we go to the med spa and have our wrinkles erased, right? But really what we need to be doing is correcting that zinc to copper imbalance so that the wrinkles go away. And <laughs> that's <laughs> I put that together in the book. So that's the owning your beauty, uh, healing medicine and, and soul, healing medicine, healing soul medicine, soul medicine, healing journey. Anyways, that one is about miracles and spiritual journeys that I've, I've worked with people on from hauntings to exorcisms. That's the, a whole nother world. And then I'm working on right now something called the healing cascades. And it's how the body actually heals something we should all know, but don't. Mm. When's the release date? <laughs> as soon as I can get it out of here <laughs> <laughs> and onto paper. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be quite the volume. I never know when to stop writing. I'm, oh, but there's more. Oh, but there's more. You know, I need to just get it done. Yeah, yeah. I, I know many authors like that, <laughs> myself included. So very good. You you also uh, have some programs, I guess, some educational uh, programs you offer. Yeah, quite a few. I change them up because uh, I get bored. Why why wouldn't you? So <laughs> I have I have programs um, that are master classes. One is called the Healing Success Foundations. And it goes into more deeply about the apple a day. I'll be putting one of those on the calendar here pretty soon. Another one is the Being Success Foundations. And this is about boundaries and how the most important relationship you can have is the one with yourself. So things like that. Uh, and so just check the calendar on my website and you'll be able to see what's coming up. But I change them often, so. Okay, very good. Well, we'll have to keep posted on that. We'll, we'll put links to all of this, but what is your website address? Main website is theelevateinstitute.com. Mm. All right. Well, we'll definitely link to all that. What's the best place for people to connect with you if, if they're interested in what you're doing and they'd like to find out some more? More. Yeah, there's tons of information. Podcasts mm -hmm. like this, the books, the whole shop, the website, you name it, at theelevateinstitute.com. And at the very bottom of most of the pages, you're going to find a little button that says start here. And that's an invitation to find 20 minutes on my calendar. And I offer yeah. that for free. Very good. Any closing comments do you think uh, our listeners would benefit from in terms of this whole topic, holistic health, self-care? It is a new way of thinking. And so give yourself some time to relearn what you think you know already. And that's the hardest part because you're the only one that lives in this skin, right? So if somebody tells you you're fine, but you don't feel fine and you feel off, listen to yourself first. Yeah. That would be my biggest message. Very nice. Eva, great conversation. Um, really nice to connect. And uh, I, I'm definitely interested in the work you're doing. I'm sure other people that are listening will. Um, great having you on the ET Project. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell icon so I can pop up in your feed occasionally with a great tip for your ultimate growth.